Hey guys, we're just uh, completing the build on this 28 foot uh, cargo trailer and one of the challenges we've been dealing with has been figuring out how to get IKEA hinges or European hinges to work with 8020. And there's some resources out on the on the internet but nothing overly clear. And so I just want to do a quick video hopefully to help other people save some time. Um, as you can see behind me, we've almost, we're not totally finished, but almost completed our kitchen um, using IKEA doors and mostly IKEA hinges, but also some other uh, Bloom European hinges. And all of the cabinetry is made out of 80-20. You can see at the back some of the unfinished parts still um, waiting to be done. Uh, so I'm going to just get right into it and I'll show you the parts that we use and the different um, overlays and how that fits together to get a get a complete looking kitchen so the first thing I want to talk about is overlays and you'll hear people talk about overlays quite a bit when it comes to um, 80 20 or any kind of cabinetry for that matter and overlay really refers to um, how much of the door so when you look at a door how much of the edge of the door overlaps the frame behind it so in this cabinet it's hard to tell, but we have 80-20, and these two doors are both overlapping one piece of 80-20. So the overlay for each door is half of the width of 80-20. I'm using 15 series 80-20, so, which is 1.5 inches wide. So each door is covering half of 1.5 inches, which is 3 quarters of an inch. So this door is covering 3 quarters of an inch, and this door is covering 3 quarters of an inch. Of that one piece of 8020. Three quarters of an inch is a magic number because that's what most cabinetry boxes are made out of. So normal hinges that you get are made for a three quarter inch overlay. So if you have two doors that are going to each split the coverage of one piece of 8020, you can use normal hinges. The issue comes when you have a situation like this where it's the end of the cabinet and you don't have another door to share with. So this door is covering the full inch and a half. So this is a one and a half inch overlay at this end. So usually it's at the ends of cabinets where you're gonna have the full one and a half inch overlay. And then on all of your in-between, usually you can share a piece of 80-20, which means three quarters. <clears throat> and three quarters just makes it easier because that's the way most doors come set up for. So to get it to work on one and a half inch, we have to make a bunch of changes to the hinges and the location of the hinges. I'll start with the easier ones, which is where, we're, where we have a shared piece of 80-20 in the middle and the three quarter inch overlay. In order to make it work, the hole that comes pre-done, this one was actually here, we had to lower it down just because we had bracketry um, the hole that comes pre-done on most cabinets, these are IKEA, uh, works out perfectly. The hinge that comes, so it's a bloom hinge, it works out just fine for a three-quarter inch overlay. The only piece you have to change is this bracket that the hinge is attached to. And that's made by bloom as well, but that's an aftermarket piece that you have to get and you have to make some modifications to it. But once you've done that, you can bolt into your 8020 effortlessly and, uh, on both sides and then you can slide once it's in here you can loosen them you can slide it to adjust your door height and everything and then lock it down and it works perfectly and then you still get your normal slow slow close hinges and um, full coverage of the 8020 at this side it's covering the full inch and a half but it doesn't matter because you just adjust the width of your cabinet to line up What's, what's relevant though is the overlay where the hinges attach. And so again, th that's how that works. And just to show you the parts that we used. So this is the hinge you get. It's a bloom hinge uh, for a three quarter inch standard overlay. Uh, that comes with IKEA cabinetry. And it clips on to a clip piece that we don't use. But what we do use is this piece here. It's made by Bloom, and I'll put a link um, in the description to where you can get this piece. And this piece is special because it moves the spot where this hinge attaches to the cabinet. 
it moves it out farther. And we need that because of the location on where we can attach uh, this, this bracket onto the 8020. And so to show you what I mean, you can see here, the hinge, this is the hinge piece, it actually goes past the 8020. And so the nice thing about this bracket is it moves the spot where the hinge attaches out past the 8020 to line up perfectly. Um, so you can see where the screws are to make the 8020 work, or the bolts. This is what the original piece looks like. So you can see that the bolt is right in the middle of this metal where there isn't actually a hole. So we've had to modify this piece to work on the 8020. Once you make the modification though to have a hole in the middle here, um, it works perfectly and you have no, no issues. And so we used a drill press at first. It was very hard to drill these out. Um, in the end, we found a machine shop nearby and had them you know, clear them out. So that's what the piece looks like when you buy it. And this is what it looked like after we had it machined. So this gives us space to position the, the hinge plate wherever we want on the 8020 and then lock it down. So, so again, to recap, you get the hinge from Ikea or a bloom hinge and this aftermarket bloom bracket. Modify it so it looks like this. And then everything fits together perfectly on your 8020. Now the other one I talked about was where you have a inch and a half overlay, which is like at the end of the cabinet here, and you have to cover the full inch and a half. In that situation, you need a different bloom hinge and I'll put a link again to this one as well, but this basically is made for thicker cabinet doors, but it works for our purposes. We still use the same bracket here on the 8020, but we have to move the hole on the cabinet door. And here's a great example. So, so we used um, cabinet doors that probably aren't ideal for doing this, but you can see the original hole that came on the door we had to move it out three quarters of an inch. And that three quarters of an inch is what gives you the extra three quarters of an inch overlay to cover the full inch and a half. But again, you can see the hinge plate and the hinge are just locked on just like normal. But the difference here was we had to move, we had to redrill a new hinge hole three quarters of an inch into the, the door. And same thing down here. And what that does is when the door closes, it pushes, it pushes the door out three quarters of an inch and you get full coverage. So to recap for a normal three quarter inch overlay, which would be two doors sharing one piece of 8020, you're going to use these two pieces and the, the standard hole spacing on the door. If you're doing a one and a half inch overlay, which would be the end of a cabinet typically, you would use these two pieces and you have to re-drill the hole where this hinge attaches to on the door. You have to move it in inward three quarters of an inch. Once you get all that done, it works perfectly. You have no problem making all of your doors line up and look professional. And then for drawers, it's actually quite simple because as long as you position your 80-20 right, I'm trying to figure out where I can show. So I, what I what we did was we measured the IKEA hinge, or sorry, slide, where the holes end up, and we added one extra bar of 80-20 in the cabinet on the side of the cabinet to attach. So then we end up attaching here and here for each drawer and then it's very simple you can slide the drawers up and down and then lock them in where you want them and you build the cabinet width to be the right width for the door and it's rock solid and you have no problem with um, soft clothes everything fits together perfectly and you covered I still have to put the kick plate on the bottom there Anyway, I hope that helps. If anyone has any questions, um, feel free to ask in the comments. We've used, we've added some other hinges too, like, like this style. Um, 
for a flip up. Still all on um, getting the finishing touches, but it gives you a pretty good idea. And I'll put a link down below to um, all of the models that we used. Thanks guys and hope this helps.